I'm Ricky. I'm from GSI. When I walk on the street, there are bags outside. When we throw out trash, there's plastic inside. So where does it go after we say goodbye? This being discarded, we are all going to cry. On the package, there might be a recycled sign. But look carefully if there's a number to find. These are ID codes, not recycled signs. Sometimes the signage will lie. 90% of plastic waste is going to the landfill side. And if broken into small pieces, then plastic can fly. We are breathing them in, and our lungs gonna fight. They are in our blood. Microplastic in human has been identified. Our blood is moving microplastic right inside. Each year, eight tons are going to the ocean side. Eaten by the fish, affecting water and lives. Other creatures, they, they are suffering too. They can't tell that this is actually not food. Even when we grab a bite, we ingest some polyvinyl chloride. Imagine every week we have a credit card diet. Plastic is everywhere. There's nowhere to hide it. It all started from this billiard guy. He made the first polymer in 1869. Since then, plastic went on the rise. They are unusable entropy for all Earth's lives. Imagine the mass and the room and the resources it occupies. That's just not good. So what are we going to do? Single-use packaging is the biggest one that pollutes. But new materials are being discovered by people who are making things out of edible food such as pasta straws and starch spoon, and even a pair of apple leather shoes. Luckily, I met people who do social good too. And SV has resources that can renew. They are designed by nature for me and you. So, what did I do? Here, I'm looking at mycelium, which is the mushroom root. They grow on agricultural waste and reduce our wasted food. They have uh, their own ideas for growth, that's which a growing community that heals our world. And as designers, we can't always control the nature, but we must listen to. In order for this interspecies design team to work, let's make friends and build a relationship. With these interspecies design team, there are billions of them. We are just one part of the nature circle. But right now, we put ourselves at the center of the ecosystem, creating something called waste as a result. They are everywhere, and it's going to nowhere. But mycelium is part of the ecological circulatory system. Which one is more sustainable for us to choose? Well, the plastic created by human is harming the ecosystem, yet mycelium has the potential ability to heal nature after. As we say, no single egg can stay intact in a fallen nest. No single species can thrive in a collapsed ecosystem. In order for humans to survive in long term, we need to keep the ecosystem healthy. 
sustain the nature, not the plastic. Design symbiotically. So if we create an environment for the mycelium to thrive and do their healing, then the symbiotic relationship between human and fungi is being built. Well, we, we rely on the fungi for the mycelium. The fungi rely on human for their growing environment. There are less waste. So let's make friends with these little creatures so that they also appreciate human beings, like these people who help them grow. <laughs> In that way, we can establish a new harmony relationship between human and nature. We call it symbiosis. If you want to learn more, go that way. Thank <laughs> you.